Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast here and this is my reaction to the 4-0 victory against Cove Rangers in the Scottish Cup third round today. As pretty much a straightforward victory as we could have hoped for really and no disrespect to Cove Rangers at all but we kind of expected it given the level that, that Cove Rangers play at. No injuries, another clean sheet for McLaughlin, I think that was something like 11 clean sheets in 12 appearances this year which is again a phenomenal record and four great goals and what, what else can you say, good run outs for some players, Patterson and Wright today were, were outstanding I felt, Patterson especially with his goal just taking it very well and really Really, all of the, all the players really cementing a place in the team again. Got to qualify that with the level of opposition, but after having two weeks out, maybe a wee bit of cobwebs, um, but certainly no signs of that there. And it was a good way to to get the players match fit again for the next up and coming game against Hibs. But we made seven changes from the last out and two weeks ago against Celtic. So certainly a slightly different team, but as they said in the commentary, it was the exact same style of play, exact same system, and that is the benefit of buying into this philosophy of the team play in a certain way. doesn't matter who the personnel is. You can drop anyone in. You could probably drop an academy player in just there, there just now and would slot into the, the, the system perfectly. Obviously, the added incentive as well as the, the draw for the next round was made before this game. And lo and behold, we would be playing Celtic. So uh, another incentive there. But really, from minute one today in the game, we dominated. There was really no any danger at all. We got our first goal in the 23rd minute with Jermaine Defoe scoring. It was an absolute stunner. The Cove keeper kicks the ball up the park, comes to our player near the halfway line, a pass to Defoe, who has his back to goal from about 35 yards from the goal, a lovely first touch to control and spin, drove it forward about 10 yards, and a fantastic shot into the bottom left corner. Just a brilliant all-round goal, a great vision, and just the outstanding technique of Jermaine Defoe. A lot of talk about should they get another deal. Certainly, if the price is right in terms of wages, I don't see why not. I know his age is is, is up there on the, the wrong side of it, and he's he's not played a lot this season. Um, a couple of wee niggles as well with, with injuries, but you know certainly if if the wages are right and he, he goes in a, a paper game aspect, then you never know. That was his first title as well, winning us. There's some things are worth a wee bit more than money, and I think he's the type of player that might do that, so just watch this space. However, I digress there, because seven minutes later, we went 2-0 up with Roof scoring. A cross in from the left by Defoe, Arfield picks up the ball at the edge of the box, hits a shot, the keeper save, and Roof with the follow-up, tapping it into more or less the empty net. Just great instinctive play there from Roof. Dave was texting me during it, and he was like, I'm, I'm not sure, I've said time and time again, I don't know what Roof does in this team and then two minutes later he up and scores so that kind of shut Dave up there and it definitely shot him up four minutes later as well because in the 32nd minute Roof got his second goal and put us 3-0 up lovely interplay down the right with Patterson and Wright Wright got the ball into the box cuts it across to Roof who was running in and he blasts it high into the back of the net from close range just another great instinctive play there from Roof and the outstanding interplay between Wright and Patterson there and in the game if it wasn't already done on the 43rd minute Patterson puts us 4-0 up Putting Cove under a lot of pressure in near their box. Their defence played a ball across their box at the 18-yard line. Patterson charges in, beats the, the defender to the ball, steals the ball from him and he shoots into the back of the net. Just an outstanding finish and great tenacity. Just a great vision as well to see that the defender was waiting on the ball coming in and nipping in there before him. So, got to be happy with that. Into half time, made a substitution, Davis off and Hadji on. He did pick up a booking in the first half. Uh, however, he did play two international games uh, as well in the break. So um, maybe just resting his legs there, given the fact that he's 36 and he uh, played a lot of football lately. So certainly the second half, we I would have said we'd taken the foot off the gas. We were certainly still the dominant team. McLaughlin had absolutely nothing to do. It was all us. I don't think they really ventured past their halfway line uh, very much at all. A bad injury for their player midway through the, the, the second half, but it was a good five minute stoppage there. We made a few changes, we never pushed ourselves out, we didn't need to, all really just about getting some game time, protecting ourselves, not getting any injuries, protecting the goal. Uh, know that we need to in this game because I think, I think McLaughlin could have left and there would be still no danger, so... But 
as I said, it sets it up nicely with the next game and the next round against Celtic. That's at home. That is going to be played on the weekend of the 17th of April, so only a couple of weeks away. More likely that will be probably the Saturday because we are playing on the Wednesday against St Johnson there. But the next game though we've got is against Hibernian. That's on Sunday the 11th of April. That's a three o'clock kickoff. I'm not even going to say it's a vital game because the league's done and dusted. Obviously, we've got still things to play for in terms of just keeping the, the clean sheets going, keeping the, the undefeated record going, that's the, that's really the main thing, and then keeping our, our spirits high and keeping the run going for the, the run in the cup as well because it's the cup now that we need to focus on. Dave and I won't be back this week, probably we'll be back uh, after the Hibs game. As ever though, you can go to our website which is iReadyPodcast.wordpress.com and there you can find all the stuff that we do. So, I hope everyone is off tomorrow for Easter Monday. Enjoy it if you are. I think the weather's taking a turn for the worst, unfortunately. But, enjoy it nonetheless. Thanks for listening and goodbye.